everyone, it's Blakely with Everyday Gourmet and happy holidays. It's my favorite time of the year because that means it's socially acceptable to eat pastries and all kinds of cookies and amazing things all the time and eggnog, which is what brings me to my next recipe. I'm going to make an eggnog bread. It's delicious. It's so easy. It's a quick bread. I'll show you exactly how to do it. It's a perfect holiday little treat for breakfast. I'm show you exactly how to do it. Okay, ready for like the hardest recipe ever? Just kidding, it's so easy. So I have one and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna put in here, I'm just gonna do all of my dry ingredients in here. So one and a half cups of flour, one cup of sugar. Then in here I have one teaspoon baking, baking powder, excuse me, half teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves, and a half a teaspoon of salt. I'll put that in right in here. Mix this together until combined. Perfect. I also have my oven preheating right now at 350. And then in here, we're gonna do our wet ingredients. So I have two eggs, three quarters of a cup of eggnog. Yum. I love eggnog. It's a love hate for people. I love it. I'm gonna do a half a cup of vegetable oil right in here. Perfect. Put that in there as well. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of vanilla extract. Gonna whisk these together. Oh, it smells so good already. And then, once this is cooked, I'm gonna do an eggnog glaze on the top. I mean, come on. Perfect. So then, what I'm gonna do, super difficult once again, pour this all on here. Make sure you get all those goodies. And just mix it together, just until combined. Don't wanna over mix it. You don't want a tough bread, you want a nice, Fluffy eggnog bread. You can smell those spices and the nutmeg and cinnamon. You don't even need an electric mixer for this. Just do it by hand. Easy peasy. I love experimenting with eggnog during the holidays. You know, eggnog French toast, eggnog, anything really. Pancakes, all kinds of good stuff. I'm right, gonna set this aside. So then I have a loaf pan here. I'm just gonna spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. I want it to get stuck in there, that's for sure. After all this hard work. And then I'm just gonna pour it in. Perfect. So into our oven, 350 for about an hour, maybe a little bit more. We're gonna check it in an hour. That's it, and it goes. So excited, our eggnog bread's out. I let it cool slightly, and now I just put it on a cute little decorative plate. So in here, about a cup of powdered sugar. I'm gonna make a glaze. So you wanna be careful how much liquid you add. Add less than you were expecting to start with, and then go from there, because a little bit of liquid goes a long way with powdered sugar. You want to make sure that this glaze stays on and doesn't run off and get too runny. See, look at that. Maybe just... Actually, I think that's pretty good. God, I'm good. All right. So I'm just going to put our beautiful glaze on here. Eggnog glaze, oh yeah. Spread it all over. And also the heat will, will let it uh, melt over everything too. Perfect. And then what I like to do is just dust ever so slightly a little bit of the fresh nutmeg right in here. Look at that, I can't wait to slice it and serve it up. It looks amazing. It's gonna be so good. That's it. 
So look at how cute this is. Delicious it looks. Oh my God, I can't wait to try some. All right, I might have already tried some, whatever. So there you have my eggnog bread. I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe to Everyday Gourmet with Blakely for more delicious recipes and videos. Mmm. 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 Woo! Yum. Yeah.